All right, so this will be a short video on an event called the Calling of the Estate General. It's going to take place in the year 1789. Again, this is pretty much the year where the French Revolution starts, and you could make the argument that this um, kind of starts the domino effect leading to the French Revolution. And I like to think of this event as solving France's problems or just creating more problems. So a quick recap. Uh, France had a lot of problems leading up to the revolution. Um, first off, there was a bad harvest and bad crops, which led to widespread famine throughout France. And the little cartoon to the right is actually uh, bags of grain that are being sort of ransacked by people in the streets. Again, showing how desperate people were to find food. Um, in addition to the famine, there was also a growing debt. Um, France had lost um, a war and then had spent more money trying to get back at the British by helping the Americans revolt against the British, and again, in our American Revolution. Um, but again, they'd spent a lot of money on wars. Um, and then at home, Marie, Queen Marie Antoinette spent money on lavish parties and uh, fancy wigs and gowns and all sorts of stuff. And so the monarchs kind of got a bad reputation in addition to um, contributing to the growing debt in France. In addition to the debt, um, there were also the ideas of the Enlightenment, um, which were spreading rapidly throughout Europe and especially France. So um, educated people were reading about ideas like if the government is not protecting your rights to life, liberty, and property, you have the right to overthrow the government. On top of that, there were also unfair social classes. Um, as we saw in class the other week, um, there were the three estates. So again, the first estate were the clergy or church workers. The second estate were the nobility. And the third estate was everybody else. It didn't matter how wealthy you were or how educated you were. If you were not born a noble or did not work for the Catholic Church, you were a member of the third estate. You paid all of the taxes. And we'll get on, we'll talk more about the uh, say in government in a little bit. And then, as mentioned previously, there were bad monarchs. Uh, King Louis is going to get the reputation of just going with whatever advisor had last spoken to him. Um, and just going along with what they told him. Um, he's going to be very indecisive. Again, not the kind of leader you want when there's famine, debt, and uh, unfair social system in your country. So Louis did recognize that there were problems in France, and he did talk to some of his advisors. Some of his advisors told him to start taxing the first and second estates, but nobles disagreed, and so Louis ended up not taxing the nobles. And instead, he called something, um, he called a meeting of the Estates General. So the Estates General is um, a meeting between the king and then representatives from all three states. So it actually took a while to get this meeting going. Um, it's going to take a couple of weeks and months of people voting for their representatives and then those representatives are going to travel to um, Versailles and they're going to meet with the king. Um, now, the third estate had more people than the first and second estates. Remember, like 97 to 98% of the population is going to be part of the third estate. So everyone agreed, it'll be fair, you can have twice as many representatives. So all of these representatives showed up to the estates general um, and they're going to meet in this big hallway and they're going to start talking about what changes should be made, like should all three estates pay taxes, etc., etc. Now, um, just to recap really quick. Um, so this is the cartoon we kind of looked at the other day. Um, we've got the first estate or the church workers, the second estate or the nobility, and then the third estate, which is everybody else. Now, in the estates general... The first estate had about 300 representatives, the second estate had about 300 representatives, and the third estate had about 600 representatives. So they kind of balance each other out. Um, each estate, you know, their third estate has a lot more people than um, they were kind of given representatives for, but, you know, it's a little bit fairer than it was. However, the voting system was not very fair. The first estate as a whole, got one vote. So all 300 representatives would make a decision, and then they would have one vote 
on whatever ideas they were talking about. Second estate, same thing. They would all vote uh, or they would all come to a decision and then they would have one vote. And then finally, the third estate, all 600 representatives would get together and talk and then they would have one vote. So if the estates are deciding on something like taxes for everyone, including the first and second estate, the third estate is always outnumbered. The first and second estate are not going to vote in favor of something that's going to disadvantage them for the most part. So they're always going to be able to outvote the third estate and side with the king. And this became very immediate, um, immediately obvious to members of the third estate and representatives of the third estate, and they started to complain to the king and ask for changes. And um, King Louis decided that he did not like to be challenged like this, and um, the next day when the representatives came to meet in this big great hall, the doors were locked, <laughs> and the members of the third estate were shut out of the meeting. So Louis kind of took a bad situation and made it worse um, by locking all 600 representatives of the third estate out. Um, and to be fair, there were people from the first and second estate who didn't think this was fair, and they, were, they joined the members of the third estate. Um, but for the most part, it was pretty divided. What this decision is going to lead to is something called the Tennis Court Oath, uh, which we will talk about later. Um, but basically, the members of the third estate, they can't go back to their, the people they represent because they failed. Uh, they didn't end up helping the people. Um, so they end up camping out in a tennis court, in an indoor tennis court in the Palace of Versailles, and they wait to hear back from King Louis XVI. 